Apple Group X is really a fascinating story because the X files of Native American genetics because it burst on the scene in 1998. Scientists didn't want to believe it, but they found a new haplogroup in addition to A, B, C, D uh, among the uh, Indians of the Great Lakes in particular. And that was haplogroup X. And so immediately the scientists uh, who have a kind of ide fix, in my opinion, uh, set about trying to find haplogroup X in Mongolia and Siberia because of course all American Indians, all upstanding American Indians came across the Bering Land Bridge chasing woolly mammoths, right? So uh, they weren't able to find haplogroup X in Siberia. They found one case of it. <sighs> that wasn't enough. Haplogroup X was a Eurasian type. So then they started talking about, oh, well, maybe they uh, got here by jumping across the ice in a circumpolar fashion, okay. Well, it kind of rested there for a while. As it turned, and last year, finally, the mystery of haplogroup X was uh, revealed in a, in a very important study by a team under Dr. Schluss, and he determined without, without any doubt that the origin of haplogroup X was the hills of Galilee. It was that clear. That's where, because where you have the greatest concentration and the greatest diversity, you have, that's the origin. There's no controversy among DNA experts about the Middle Eastern origin of haplogroup X. The only question really is, when did it arrive in the Americas? Uh, most um, projections about ancient human history, prehistory pre pre really, are based on a mathematical and statistical model called uh, phylogenetics. What we find in the journals is that it is commonly thought among DNA experts that there was an outmigration of haplogroup X from the Middle East about 40,000 years ago. That's a pure projection. You know, it's a mathematical progression going back to there based on how mitochondrial DNA uh, uh, mutates. Uh, is it true? Who knows? But what most people don't realize is that in, among these same experts in these same journals, there is controversy about the dating. So, you know, I think these are projections. The controversy is between those who assume a theory that man branched from chimps five to six million years ago versus those who are using newer actual findings from DNA pedigree studies. The theoretical dating gives much longer time frames, but the actual data shows a 20-fold reduction and would place the Middle Eastern outmigration of haplogroup X about 2,000 years ago, plus or minus. Uh, is it true that uh, all Native Americans came from 10 families that stumbled across the Bering Strait chasing wo woolly mammoths uh, before the last ice age? I don't think mine did. <laughs>